जय श्री कृष्ण एंड टुडे विल डू द गीता एंड जस्ट टू गिव यू वी आर डूइंग चैप्टर थर्टीन एंड टुडे वी शेल बी डूइंग द वर्स नाइनटीन बट लेट मी रीड द द प्रीवियस वर्स विच वॉज प्रिटी लॉन्ग एंड एंड देन ही सेज दैट ब्रह्मा दैट कृष्ण सेज दैट ब्रह्मा द लाइट ऑफ ऑल लाइट इज सेट टू बी बियॉन्ड डार्कनेस इट्स बियॉन्ड डार्कनेस इट इज नॉलेज that is the object of knowledge seated in the hearts of all to be reached by knowledge so here he talks about that the light of all lights is knowledge and the object of knowledge is in the hearts of all to be reached by knowledge and then we went on to describe if you will look back on the gita uh, verse 19 of chapter 13 you remember we spoke about the light of all lights that is said to be beyond darkness dwelling in the hearts of all uh, we spoke about this and let me read what just to give you a quick synopsis of what we had said last time is philosophically heart means the area in the mental zone from where noble and pious thoughts spring forth in an atmosphere of goodness when the intellect steadily com- contemplates upon the light that lies beyond the darkness the absolute non-dual self that exists transcending all but also immanent in its subtle all pervading nature it can be contacted and realized and therefore the heart is considered as the dwelling place of the self we spoke about this last time but uh, you know we are on uh, page, we are doing the holy gita uh, which commentary by swami chinmayanand ji and uh, so let's proceed to the verse 19 thus uh, the field seek the light through devotion here follows a concluding remark for the theme discussed so far and what was that theme we are going to be reminded again so the verse is thus the field as well as the knowledge and the knowable have been briefly stated if you've been with me so thus far you will realize otherwise go back and you will you can read the 13th chapter knowing this my devotee enters into my being that is what he's saying in this verse Now let me read what has been described in the chapter so far is the whole doctrine the doctrine of the Vedas taught in brief as the doctrine of the Gita the field described above beginning with the great elements and ending with fortitude knowledge comprising the moral and ethical rules ordering a right relationship with the world all this we have already heard about I will not say learned because learning the Gita and living by it is a lifelong process but it can happen in one second if the knowledge really descends starts with humility and ending with the perception of the end of knowledge and the knowable described just now these have been briefly dealt with so he says it's all been dealt with but now the question is who among the seekers is really fit for this great knowledge it is prescribed by the lord that his devotees alone are fit for that state that is for my state devotion here is not merely an emotional surrender in love unto the lord but an intellectual appreciation of the truth through a correct discrimination between the field and the knower of the field one who is able to recognize the one vasudeva who is the vitalizing conscious principle in all fields of matter envelopment is the true devotee who is fit for my state now this particular thing you will understand if you have uh, been with me for the other verses in the gita but uh, just to make it brief for those who are here for the first time who have stumbled upon the gita here by me is basically see bhakti is not blind worship a lot of people think of bhakti as just blind worship and then they fall into superstitions that's why it is made so clear that one who is able to recognize the one vasudeva who is the vitalizing conscious principle you can call it krishna consciousness if you may 
in all fields of matter envelopments is the true devotee who is fit for my state. You have to understand bhakti and jnana in its true, in its true essence. And bhakti and jnana are both important to eventually be fit for the state that Krishna is speaking about. So keep at it. Keep listening even if you don't understand. I keep saying that. Just keep listening and eventually it has already happened with a few people who I have told this. They just said, you know, now that we go to lectures, we actually are able to understand. So hopefully it will happen to you also. But until the next Gita class, you take care and God bless.